Let's get right to it. You see it all the time. There are even platforms that sell you on how to get into big tech. However, the truth is, these roles are out of reach for most people. I didn't get my first big tech role until I was in my 40s, and my second one in my late 40s. Now, it was never a goal of mine to work in big tech. The only big tech company that was valued back in the day was Microsoft. Google seems to be the it company these days, so let's look at some numbers. Currently, Google accepts less than 1% of all applicants for software engineering positions. Now, this is true of most all the other FANG companies. A study of hiring trends at FANG indicates that Google receives approximately 2 million applications every year, and only one of 150 engineers apply to get through. Compare that with Harvard, which accepts 1 in 115 applications. Quite clearly, getting into Google is more than 10 times harder than getting into Harvard's freshman year. Now, these numbers don't include the subspecialties like AI roles. These are just vanilla developers. I don't have the numbers for these subspecialties, but my guess is it's around 100 times harder than getting into Harvard. Now, there's another way to get noticed by big tech companies that's indirect. I've never sent Microsoft a resume. However, the SQL Server community at the top is small. Microsoft knows who the top DBAs are. How? Technical blogs. Years ago, I began posting on various blogs on how to handle real-world SQL problems and SQL internals. These posts were often very technical. After a year of blogging about SQL Server, I noticed I was being followed by about 50 people at Microsoft. I then attended a SQL Server conference, and during that period, I was asked if I wanted to interview at Microsoft. Now, at that point in time, I didn't feel I was qualified enough to work at Microsoft, so I turned it down. If you want to work at big tech firms someday, the indirect route may be the route to go. Once I had Uber on my resume, the very next week, recruiters from Amazon and SpaceX contacted me about opportunities they had. Blogging and conferences are a great way to establish your presence in any techie niche. Also, going to conferences and interacting with people working in your technical arena also help put a name with the blog posts. Relationships are far more powerful than resumes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, have a great day.